Thank you so much once again, Avas and all uh, UNIS team. So uh, here, here's my presentation. Uh, the title is obviously like potential satellite data uses for financial institutions in, in Nepal. So before jumping to my presentation, uh, I just wanted to give you a short introductions about my bank where I'm currently working as a research, uh, in a research department. So uh, Sanima Bank is one of the top one of the top A-class financial institutions of Nepal. Uh, currently, there are 27 commercial A-class uh, commercial banks in Nepal. And uh, Sanima Bank has around 95.19 uh, USD million dollar uh, USD uh, paid up capital. Uh, that is in Nepali, it's like 11.33 uh, billion uh, Nepali paid up capital. And Sanima Bank is listed in one and only stock exchange of Nepal. That's the uh, Nepal Stock Exchange. So this is all about Sanima Bank. So let's jump into the main topic. Why satellite images for banks? So actually, uh, they all started uh, thinking about satellite for banking uh, from the panel discussion. Actually, the panel discussion that was organized by Antariksha Pratishtan Nepal. Uh, actually, the topic was space planning policy and funding. So in that panel discussion, for that panel discussion, I was preparing for uh, how we can funding uh, fund this satellite and how uh, these satellite images are using uh, by other uh, banks and finance, financial institutions involved. So uh, during my uh, research, uh, I got to know about, I got, I got this article uh, uh, in Reuters. So it says India's ICICI bank uses space images for farm loans to cut costs. So it really fascinated me because in Nepal, uh, up to that context, we haven't used, so, so far, so far we haven't used satellite images uh, to calculate the, uh, uh, especially the, uh, the the data they are using for like, especially for calculating farm crops yield, mapping of curbs, so geotagging farmland uh, to specific farms, farm diversifications, planting cycle, and trending in production. And uh, this, uh, this, this kind of data is, are also used for forecasting revenues and potential repayment def, uh, deficits and timing of income. So that's a really, really interesting. Uh, it really interests me. So I started digging into the information why they are using, and I came to know like these people are using uh, to reduce uh, the cost. And uh, they're also using this satellite images uh, to uh, uh, to reduce the loan processing time. So I just wanted to explain how uh, loan processing uh, structure works in Nepal. So basically the borrowers, the client who wants the money, they approach to bank and financial institutions. So uh, by a bank and financial institutions uh, will, uh, will provide fund only if uh, the borrowers will provide a collateral for security reason. So collateral can be land, uh, can be uh, housed. So with that collateral, uh, that before giving, before providing a before sanctioning loan, bank and financial institution will uh, uh, just prepare. Just they, they they give a valuator, the third party engineers. Uh, they assign them to prepare a detailed report. So valuators will prepare valuation report of collateral. So based on that report. Uh, the collateral verification will be done by staff. So what ICICI Bank is doing is like, they are just removing the last part, the collateral verification staff, uh, verification by staff. So by doing that, they are saving uh, the transportation cost and they're also saving the uh, saving uh, uh, the time to sanction the loan. So uh, with that, we I will, I will come to this part into the last. So, Actually, what we are using in context of Nepal, how we are using uh, satellite images, I just wanted to explain that thing first. Uh, the, the idea, the, uh, the things we are currently using is very raw. So there are a lot of spaces where uh, a tech company, a tech mind can join with us uh, to improve how we are using satellite images. So uh, being part of research and uh, being in a research and development department, uh, our one of the role is to identify the potential location to open our new branches. So for opening new branches, what we do is uh, we, we do a gap analysis uh, by satellite images. Uh, 
Okay, so we do a gap analysis by using a satellite in there. So this is a location. This is a location of Kathmandu area. So this is a capital city of Nepal. So what I did first is I just uh, uh, took a picture, satellite image of Kathmandu area where our branches are already located, the existing branches. So few branches are uh, not mapping uh, Google Maps. So I manually map through red and black dots so those dots are our existing branches. So with that uh, dots, what we have identified is in the left in the left corner side. So there is a huge area. The the houses you can clearly see the image from the image. There's a huge area, but our branches is not present in this area. So to identify where we can open our new branch around this area, we we divide it into these into three parts, especially. The first part is uh, the Suchatar area. Uh, that Suchatar area is uh, pretty close to our existing branch. Uh, so uh, we drop this idea and we again dig into some uh, some other areas like Sita Paila areas, where where we can clearly see their uh, uh, images that shows like the the construction, the residential areas. Uh, the uh, residential area and the road is, road area is also high. So the other part is we are manually checking those, these images and identifying the other industrial area, in, industrial structure also there. So there are uh, the, the things are like economy is happening in this area. However, our branches are not any close to this area. So this could be a, one of the potential area to open our new branch. And the other area is this top position. That's a household area of Kathmandu. Uh, this area is also a, a bit close to our uh, branch uh, at the top. So, uh, so this is also and an other thing. Other thing, the, there's a problem with this area is there's a two hillside around uh, this side by side where there is no residential area. So uh, probably the population size and the residential side might not feasible for our branch to open here. So what we have recommended to our management team is. So we we can we can go with the uh, Sita Pila area to open our new branch. So here, uh, okay. So uh, with the initial uh, initial map, we just point out we, we just figure out this could be the potential area to open our new branch here. Uh, so actually, we have we do have branch here. And this this part, uh, the, yeah, this part. So there is a gap between these two area is like probably the Sita Pila area, area here. So furthermore, what we did is like with the help of Google Earth Pro, uh, we just dig into a few few years data like what are the uh, the construction residential areas development of these areas. So we just dig into few pictures and we we have identified that like in five years time. Uh, the residential area has a big growth. The, the growth is pretty high in this area. So probably we can open our branch here to tap the uh, the uh, new market for Sanima Bank. So with this, uh, we have recommended our management team to open new brands in uh, Sita Paila area. So this is one of the uh, use case uh, of satellite data by bank. So besides this, uh, I have also identified a few of the other use cases by uh, some micro finance, micro insurance companies in Nigeria. That's very interesting. So these people are actually uh, involved in micro financing, and they, with the help of uh, satellite images, uh, these micro micro finance micro insurance companies, small micro insurance companies, are also like tracking the, uh, especially crop, the growth of crop and harvesting time so with the help of that so they, they are using for marketing you know, the insurance products so similarly harvesting is also a nigerian company so they are also working similar kind of project with that uh, so currently we are working with the uh, using satellite images only for branch feasibility so similar to the other banks and financing like icici is doing we are actually working on uh, uh, working in a second phase uh, where we can, uh, uh, where we are working on loan assessment project for agri loan with satellite images and machine learning. Uh, so 
here actually we are working with Antariksha Pakistan Nepal. So right now, like there avenue where the student like currently there are a lot of I, I, I come to know that like a lot of students are also uh, attending this presentation so if any student can walk out on this like especially where uh, in this in this images where i have manually i did uh, trying to track all the growth and all so if uh, machine learning could give us uh, information regarding the growth potential of this area it could be much easier and much scientific so there's a lot of areas still we can uh, work out to identify the areas so uh, here in second phase we are planning to work on the satellite images by agriculture area so yeah this is all about my presentation so thank you so much Avas. so is there any question